Hey everybody, Kevin here. Well, <clears throat> we're gonna do something uh, fun. So I, I'm starting to get um, more that I want to get into building stuff and doing different stuff and making stuff look different from everything else. So this video is gonna be about what I'm about to do to that. Whoop, Mr. Darth Vader. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, or what the plan is, is that I'm going to um, take all of this brick, or it's not brick, but dots, out. I picked up a whole bunch of um, translucent red, or translucent red. Um, and of course I love putting lights and stuff, so the idea is going to be that I'm going to install lighting into his lightsaber and it hopefully will glow through the red there real nice like so that's the plan oh, i hope it goes um so i'll probably do a time lapse i gotta i gotta clean off the table there i still have uh, the guardian ship on the table that was a great build i just did a little stand for the uh um minifigs on it and stuff like that and i'm working on uh the um uh whatchamacallit, <clears throat> the uh, nameplate or a UACS plate for it. So um, we'll get that. I'll just put it off on the table on the side and then I'll get this pulled down off the wall here and get it onto the building area and start popping off those dots and see where we get to. Kind of excited for this actually. As you can see I've taken out the white and the yellow when I traded or changed it with transparent red and I kind of built it so it's a it's 3d it comes out as you can see there so if we stand back a little bit and let's uh, check it out see what it looks like so it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted to I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more it is just a single white LED strip, or sorry, red LED strip that's running under the Nisa transparents. Now, I kind of actually like the way the lightsaber looks now as opposed to the way it did. It did look great before because it looks like it was glowing or whatever, but um, when it's lit up, that's what we got. So not too bad. We'll check it out from a little bit of distance. It gives it a gives it a little bit different perspective, but... Yeah, I kind of, kind of dig it, and I have it on a little remote control, so I can turn it on and off whenever I want. So pretty cool. So there's kind of what I did. Um, pretty, pretty basic. So there's just uh, five one by two uh, red transparents. The LED strip runs right down in the center of that, so that just holds it down, and then. I just went off the uh, the dots on the side. I just I ran another channel up there, and yeah, this just basically goes down, so it gives you the the look of a three D lightsaber. And then yeah, the light in the middle lights it up pretty good. I'm gonna try to find a little bit different of light, almost like a a rope light, if you will, that'll be around, and then it can go up the center. Of that I can make this a little bit bigger or what have you. But for now, I think it'll do. So this is just a quick little look at. Uh, 
goofing around a little bit. Um, I might put lights down in here too. Yeah. But gives it a little bit different look and uh, yeah, um, not too bad to do. So it's uh, pretty quick and easy. It only took me about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes to pop out all the the uh, dots and then build all that with the red one by twos. And, and then, like I said, even when you turn this thing off, it doesn't look terrible. You can still see the uh, the red lightsaber in there and it has a 3D look to it. It has a raised element to it. So um, yeah, it's kind of neat. So uh, if you like what you saw, or, well, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks. Stay safe. <laughs>